Hey everyone, it's Jabaronio here and welcome back to another video. We're playing Sky Wars because the Turbo Kart Racers tournament is literally trash and I'm gonna name a few things to reason why I think the Turbo Kart Racers tournament is absolutely horrible. And well, generally the whole game. Okay, you're gonna be saying like, uh, actually the whole game has been like that for a while and there's a whole community who loves the mechanic. But you know what? To a new player like me who has only just started the game like yesterday, I'm sorry, it ain't fun to play unless you abuse the game of its full potential. And you, you probably already know, like the RNG of the RNG in Turbo Kart Racer is absolutely horrible, just like Mario Kart. There's no denial to that. At the, and I don't think I need to talk about how bad it is. In when you're in the first place. I, oh, hold on, let's just deal with this guy real quick. There's another guy. Thank you. Uh, there's gonna be another guy here, isn't there? I'm gonna get out of here. Please, I want to rain Turbo Kart Racer. Thank you. But yeah, I don't think I need to emphasize it anymore. The RNG is absolutely horrible. Now, in Mario Kart, you probably already know how Mario Kart RNG is like. In first place, you don't get much item, but in last place, you usually get really OP items, which will be able to help get you to a higher position a lot easier. But in this game, the, the game is just gonna casually give you a red missile at first place, where you can literally just okay, you're going like this in F5, right? You can literally just turn around, right click, and then the person behind you is gonna get pushed even further away. It the why would you give a red missile to the guy in first place? And even a green missile is already broken enough. And you're telling me you're gonna give a red missile? Well, I don't have any arrows. And just a missile alone. The fact that it also does area damage as well just makes the whole game seem so unbalanced. And I really don't want to say it, but I don't like the game. I think it's a bad game. Well, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. In fact, hold on, hold on, just a sec. I'm in a bad spot right now. Uh, uh, he's dead. But yeah, I don't think I need to emphasize it anymore. The whole RNG of Turbo Kart Racer just ruins the game itself. And sure, the mechanic is cool, the design is cool, but the RNG and all the bugs that the game has is. A, it just ruins the fun for me. Especially with the bugs. Like, holy. I don't think I need to emphasize how buggy the game is. If, if you play the game for over, I don't know, 10 hours, which I definitely did yesterday, you, you could already tell that you probably fell off. You probably went out of bounds, like, at least, I don't know, a few times by now. And... The fact that it's so easy to go out of bounds is just ruins the whole game. It ruins the whole fun element of the game. I mean, I understand why it's easy to go out of bounds because it's a very complex game. It, like, it's a completely different game built into Minecraft, but. You know, Hypixel, you could at least make the map, like, different so that you don't go out of bounds. But, but I mean, honestly, I, I can ignore the whole out of bounds. Oh, actually, hold on, I'm gonna get clean here. Uh, this is not a good spot to be in. I'm gonna crit this guy out before he gets strength. And, all part of the plan. But yeah, I, I, I can honestly uh, not care about the whole out of bounds thing. <laughs> uh, hi, Skywars player. They're so amazing. Anyhow, I can honestly ignore the whole out of bounds thing with uh the fact that you know you know this is like a stash stuck command or there's a barrier block at the end here which you can use to go back to uh, where you're supposed to be. But the problem with that is that there's a one second delay on it. Now I don't know what happens if you do stash stuck if you get okay. I like if you do that stuck, I don't know if it's gonna instantly teleport you back or it's gonna be a one second delay as well. But that one second delay instantly ruins the whole race for you if you get thrown out of bounds, which happens quite often. Then, yeah, the whole race is ruined for you. Well, not the whole race, but if you get lucky with your item, then maybe perhaps you'll be able to pull back. And can we not talk about 
the, 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 the drifting glitch. I honestly don't really care about the um, drifting glitch where if you drift on the... Hello. If you drift on the booster pad, it's gonna instantly recharge your drift. I don't really care about that, but a lot of people do because, you know, in Mario Kart and in any racing game, you, you aren't supposed to do that. But in Turbo Kart Racer, apparently it's possible to do that. Okay, this guy wants to team. I honestly want to refill though. But uh, in Turbo Kart Racer, you can do that. And... A lot of people don't know you can actually do that unless like you actually look up how to play the game, which, in my opinion, that's a really bad game design. You, you don't tell the player that, oh, you can just shift when you're on the booster pad when you're below 40% uh, of the heat bar and then it's gonna instantly recharge it for you. No, the game does not tell you that. In fact, it doesn't even tell you, it did tell you how to, it does tell you how to drift, but it doesn't even say that there's like an, a heat bar down here. It just says it fills up heat XP bar, which it clearly says within the practice area, but then, you know, it, it doesn't tell you that if you drift too much, it, you're gonna end up in a very bad position. And the funny thing is that they just make it into a tournament without actually like trying to do any fixing because the, the game in the tournament is exactly like how the game was before the tournament. I, there was no difference whatsoever within the mechanic and the bugs as well. Now obviously there are strategies to the game which can secure you in a high position. There's, there's that, I see one person on the leaderboard which has been on first place throughout from yesterday and probably until today as well. I think he's still on first place today. So yeah, this is a part of skill to the game, but in my opinion, it's not enough to, uh, it's not enough to, uh, outweigh the bug of it. I'm, I'm gonna let him build a house. I, I like his house. Where is he going? You know he's gonna go and grab the pearls, but... I don't really care. I'm just trying to see where, where is his construction work is gonna go. Although if he wins this game, I don't really mind. He took all the effort to build the house. I don't mean any hate on Turbo Kart Racer or their community at all. In fact, I really respect the community for their dedication for the game. I still see players from all the way back in 2015, 2014 still playing the game to this day. And I'm honestly quite impressed. Actually, I don't remember when Turbo Car Racer came out, but there's a lot of old players. Though, are you gonna? Oh, you're just gonna, you're just gonna do that. This was fun. Why was that delayed? I have no idea either. And yeah, that's it for this video. That was like my very best attempt of trying to keep up with my upload schedule as well as, you know, ranting Hypixel's latest tournament because, you know, that's, I don't know, every single tournament there's always something to be ranted of. And this one, well, I didn't really rant the tournament, but I ranted the whole game of TKR. Anyhow, if you enjoyed the video, I have nothing better to do other than ranting a server about making a tournament in like a super dead game because that's what I do best. I rant other people, I rant games, I rant companies, I rant everything in this world until they fall apart. But yeah, that's it. See you later, you guys.